Now, a Uyghur family that was separated by Beijing officials years ago has finally reunited. The story goes back over a decade when Saddam Abdul Salam went to Australia as a student. In 2016, he went back to Xinjiang to marry Nadila Umayyar, a Chinese citizen. A year later, Abdul Salam's work took him back to Australia. He had to leave his wife behind in Xinjiang as she waited for her spousal visa. Little did the couple know that China would separate them for years to come. Chinese authorities banned Abdul Salam's wife and their newborn son from leaving Xinjiang. Their passports were confiscated. Abdul Salam launched a campaign to release his family from Xinjiang. This became one of the most high-profile human rights cases in Australia. Abdul Salam had approached the Australian government for help. In 2019, the government granted Australian citizenship to his son. In February of this year, China's deputy head of a mission in Australia lied in an interview saying that Wumeir did not want to leave Xinjiang. Wumeir later tweeted a picture of herself with the sign that said, I want to leave and be with my husband. Australian Foreign Minister Maurice Payne said that in June this year, the Australian Embassy in Beijing had formally requested the Chinese authorities to allow Wumeir to leave. Now, many months later, Abdul Salam finally embraced his wife and met his son for the first time after they were allowed to leave China. In a heartfelt message, Abdul Salam thanked foreign ministers, lawyers, human rights activists, and journalists who helped to reunite him with, reunite him with his family. China has been criticized by the United Nations and many governments for the arbitrary detention and restrictions on movement of Uyghur Muslims in Xinjiang. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever.